The Harry Potter author has blasted the Labour leader on social media. Acclaimed author J.K. Rowling has entered into the political fray with a brutal attack on Sir Keir Starmer's record of supporting trans rights over women. Ms. Rowling took to Twitter last night to tear into the Labour leader, after he snubbed women's rights activist and Labour MP Rosie Duffield by not inviting her to the party's election launch in Kent, despite her being a Kent MP. Highlighting the snub, Ms. Rowling tweeted, It's hard not to conclude that in spite of recent attempts at backpedalling, Keir Starmer's view on what Rosie Duffield and women in general are allowed to say about their own bodies hasn't changed since 2021. She also shared a graphic highlighting Sir Keir's previous claim that it's wrong to say only women have a cervix. He described the sentence as, something that shouldn't be said. It is not right, Sir Keir has since backpedaled and you turned on his views on the trans debate, initially saying that 99.9% .9 of women haven't got a penis. He eventually came out in favor of a ban on trans women in female-only spaces. However just this week, Minister for Women Maria Caulfield warned that Labour has leaned nothing on the trans debate and still backs dangerous policies on sex and gender. Writing for the Daily Express, Ms. Caulfield warned that Labour want you to think that they no longer let the extreme ideologues at the likes of Stonewall and Mermaids decide their thinking. She added, but their plans to fiddle with the rules to make it easier for people to change their legal sex show that they are still in thrall to those groups who put ideology over the safety of women and children. The Tory MP demanded Labour, stop trying to letting dangerous campaigning organisations decide their policies and leave medical professionals alone to do the important job of looking after the nation's health. 